Really nice oh, putt. Go in the hole. Go, go, go get in the hole. Oh, oh my, my God, God, that was a great putt. <laughs> Hello world and welcome back to another brand new episode of Golfing the Villages. Today we are excited to bring you a new wrinkle in the Scramble series called Scramble with a Subscriber. The subscriber we are playing with goes by the name of Robert. Robert is a recent addition to the Villages, having just closed on his house within the last couple of weeks, so congratulations are certainly in order. This is Robert's first Villages golfing experience, and so we are looking forward to making it a memorable one. Incidentally, today we are teeing it up at the Glenview Champions Country Club on the Stirrup Cup 9-hole rotation. Neither of us have seen or played this course before, and I'm going to use the Golf Shot app on my phone to steer us around the track. We are giving it a go from the blue tees today, which are two boxes up from the tips, and will play around 3,140 total yards. Without further ado, let's get after it. And good morning to everybody. It's another beautiful day in the villages. Sub 90 degrees, gorgeous weather, very few clouds in the sky. As we step up to the first tee, this is Robert, 355 yards on this par four. He goes ahead with the driver, starts out to the right there. Yeah. It's gonna clip an oak tree and make its way back to the fairway. Oh, What's not to love about this place? That's a good start for his villages golfing career. Welcome, Robert. And now yours truly is on the tee here with a driver in hand. Uh, looking to start it probably on that trap down the middle there and draw it back toward the 150 that's in the left center of the fairway. Wonderful strike right yeah. down the middle now, starting to draw a little bit. This is gonna be beautiful. And we'll have a great right. second you. shot. That last drive was about 265 yards, so not a lot of roll there, but we only have 90 yards to the pin. For Robert, he's gonna go ahead with the 54 degree wedge. And he hits it there, and it, it is a good ball there. Gonna make its way over to the green, okay. and he's on there. Not, not a bad shot at all. And yours truly now, with the same 90 yards, going with the 56 degree sand wedge. Trying to make some magic happen. Pretty good strike. It's a little uh, tugged little left bit. of, but going toward the flag now and just, just comes up a touch short. Just missed the green. The ball actually found the sprinkler head there. So we took a club relief for the sprinkler head. And uh, we've got this from just off the green for birdie. Robert is going to go ahead and chip this, and that's a nice little okay. little shot there. Starts to yeah, leak to the right, to right away I'm from the hole. The I'm going to go ahead and go with the putter. I'm looking left to right. I got a pretty good read from his chip there. I'm going to start a little further left, try to bring it in. You see how it's it rolls up that collar and then starts to go back, but I just didn't have enough speed. So we've got this now. I think this is about three feet or so for par four feet try to save par robert Ooh, just a little bit of a tug hopefully you'll be able to see that on the uh, on the video there and now yours truly i have it lined up just trying to roll it into the cup and start us with a par great great par to start On to the second tee now, also a par four, playing 370 yards. Robert's gonna start us off with a driver here. Nice contact. It's a low runner right down the middle and beautiful shot. Gives us a, a great option here in the middle of the fairway. Says it wasn't very far, but it's in the middle. I can't complain. I'm gonna go ahead and try to uncork one here. I try to probably do a little too much with it, trying to give it uh, a good go. 
and I overswing a little bit, pull it left, and it's kind of a snap hook. So good thing Robert's in play. And a scramble. Sometimes I try to get a little loose with it, you know? But anyway, this is 135 yards to the pin using uh, Robert's ball. He's got an eight iron in his hand. This is a nice strike. It's coming in low and now hits on the green and rolls up to the flag. Beautiful, really, shot. really great shot in, well in pretty close for a birdie. Now yours truly looking at the same 135 yards to the pin. I've got a pitching wedge in my hand and it's a good news situation that Robert's on board because oh, I thin that one to start out. That is a terrible well, swing. There you go. Good, good thing I got Robert. Now I don't have the official Get measurement for you here. I got this about nine, maybe 10 feet down the hill. It's gonna work left to right for birdie. I get Robert to putt first here, so I get a really good read at it. He's got a little bit of face control there. issue oh, there, but he just boy. rolls it down and I see it breaking away at yeah, the end. So this gives me a really good read. And now I've got, I've got the speed, I've got the line. I just have to match him up and make a stroke. Rolling it down, think it's a little firm, and then bam, in the cup for birdie. Great teamwork to get us to one under through two holes. On to the third hole, our first par five, 508 yards, and Robert's gonna go with that driver. This is a good swing there. It is down the middle and it's gonna catch, actually be in the yeah, rough. We weren't really the sure where there. that fairway was. So the fairway kind of turns around. It's a little bit of an optical illusion, but I'm also gonna go with driver here and try to bam, bam, send it. And this is a good strike too. It looks down the middle and think it's gonna be in the fairway, but we find out it's, it's in a kind of an awkward spot. So missing the fairway on the right left us on this hillside here. It's 230 yards to the pin. It's over the palm trees. I've got Robert here trying to lay up toward oh, that man. trap. And okay. it's a very difficult <laughs> shot right, because the, the ball is severely above your feet. I'm not even choked down far enough. Wait till you see what happens. This is eight iron for me. And oh, yeah, I just wipe across it. A it's a hard. little more difficult than it, than it looks. So I heard a little panic in Robert's voice where he's like, we gotta go for it now. So he's gonna go for the green here with a three wood. It's 191 to the pin. We're in kind of this fluffy grass. You can see what happened there to him. I've got a five iron. I'm gonna try to hit a little cut over that palm tree. Yeah, beautiful strike. Kind of picked it off that soft stuff and it comes up a touch okay, short because of that, there. but we're in Thanks. play. The lack of compression meant that we came up about 44 yards short to the flag here. For Robert, this is his 60 degree wedge, and he's got a little outside oh, contact just there. Close. Just, yeah, just yeah, misses yeah, carrying yeah. over the yeah. lip there. And I'm gonna go ahead with my 62 degree wedge, and I'm gonna try to be real shallow into the ball. See, pick it real nice, and oh, just didn't carry it quite bit. far enough. So, but we're on the surface now. Okay, it's nice yeah, right. and shallow. Now we've got this putt for par. I don't have an official measurement, but it is kind of a long range effort there. And Robert's gonna take a nice stroke here. Give me a good read. And yeah, that's a really good effort. I mean, he got it up close. We're in tap in range, bogey in hand. I'm gonna do what I can here to try and ram this in for par. No guts, no glory. Rolling it up to the cup and oh, hops just carried a little too much pace into the uh, hole there. So now we've got this little tap in for bogey oh. and whoopsie daisy, that's okay. That happens. Uh, I'll pick you up, partner. I'm gonna try to make this little uh, three footer for bogey. All right, in the hole for bogey.
Now after dropping the shot on the last, that brings us back to even par here as we step up to the fourth tee, 152 to the center, 135 to the pin, this is 8 iron. On this par 3, this is a good swing here, it's like coming in low, hits on the green, rolls out quite a bit, but he is dancing with a long, long range look at birdie. This frees me up here now with the same yardage, 135 to pin. In the front, I am going pitching wedge. Beautiful strike, up nice, really high, coming in, cutting a little too much, and oh, just oh, no, catching the trap. It. That was the right club for that flag. So now with this extreme long range effort here, Robert is lining up this birdie putt, and this is a downhiller. We've got it working our left to right, but as we're viewing it now, slightly right to left, he puts a beautiful stroke on this. I thought it might dry up a little sooner, but then look at this. It just keeps picking up really pace, nice picking putt. up pace, rolling in. Oh my, oh my gosh, God, how that does that not go putt. in the hole? That is what like a great putt. That's like this really freed me up. What uh, a great putt. Since I know we've got this tap in par wow. in hand, I'm going to do everything I can to try to roll it in myself from the same distance here for birdie so not trying to be shy and leave it short but mine's got a little too much pace picks up even more yeah. pace and yep that one rolled out uh so there's our tap in good, good, par. Par. good par. well done Now we make our way over to the fifth tee there, still even par. It is a par four playing 344 yards, and Robert is going with the driver. This is a good strike yeah, off to the right now, covering that 150 that right pole, side, and he is in the middle of the or fairway. That's a shot. great shot. So I'm looking with the same direction there. I'm gonna try to finish it on or near that trap on the left as the hole goes that direction. Beautiful strike. This is long and straight now and landing near the bunker. Wow, nice kick back toward the fairway. Love it. Yeah. Having taken the shortest distance there, we did end up catching the uh, the quote unquote rough here. It's not too bad. 103 yards to the pin. This is a 54 degree wedge for Robert. And this is a good swing here. It is off to the right. It's gonna oh, catch a piece of in. the uh, green shot. and being pretty close for birdie. Great shot. Now with the same 103, I've got my 50 degree gap wedge and this is a Beautiful controlled swing now. This is coming, working back toward the flag from the left. Oh yes, in nice and tight. Yeah, we have another look at birdie. Yeah. We had two really good choices uh, putts here. We did end up selecting mine just because it felt like it was a little closer and a little straighter. But this is a good chance here for Birdie rolling up to the cup and Beautiful Robert pie. nailed it. Well so done for Birdie. <laughs> now back to this action here on the sixth tee, another par four, playing 357 yards. Robert's got the driver in his hand and ready to make a swing. Beautiful, right down the middle. He's right pumping this middle. one. Great He's hitting shot. fairways, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. This definitely frees me up. I'm gonna try to put a little extra into this one and try to really get my stroke going down there. So let's see what we can do. And oh man, oh, whoopsie daisy. This is the first ball I've hit right in play in a long, long time. Okay. As I've already said, thank goodness for Robert. He's a fairway machine here. He got us a, a great approach here. We've got 150 yards to the pin. He's got a seven iron, and the flag is just over the center of that bunker. 
This one starts right of and now is leaking right. It's gonna miss the green, uh, but yeah. just be on the okay. right hand side there. I'm looking the same direction now. The difference is I've got a nine iron here. Same 150 yards, looking to make a good swing. And mine is a carbon copy of his. Starting it right, now going right. We missed the green in about a three foot section next right. to each other. Robert's ball was a couple feet closer, so we definitely wanted to take that one here. And this is now for Birdie. And I'm not sure which club, he's got that chipper that he's been using, and he just bobbles it on there, and that's not too bad. It just didn't roll out all the way. And uh, this is my technique. I need to be a little bit crisper here. I took it a little, that was a little steep on my action there. But, uh, and I didn't get the rollout I was looking for. So I was slightly closer. We've got 15 feet here to try and save par. And I, I get the read okay, yeah, there from know, Robert. Uh, really good, just a little too much speed. And I'm gonna try to adjust and get this one in the hole. Come on, try to save a par. Do it for your teammate. And oh man, it just I just didn't get it right. Well. Wobbled out there. I'm gonna have Robert put this one in uh, this three footer for bogey, and he does a great job cleaning up. It's bogey, but we're okay. So far, our pattern was birdie bogey, birdie bogey. But nevertheless, we're even par. As we stand on the seventh tee, this par five is 525 yards. And here is a driver. Wonderful swing right down the middle. Another fairway found for Robert. He is a fairway machine. I can definitely appreciate that. And here I am now, a little more freed up to try to go for this one and correct that last ball that went to the right. I'm gonna start this at the at the trap on the left and peel it back to the fairway, which is exactly what I do. This is a wonderful swing right down the middle, peeling back toward that 150 pole. Wonderful. That last ball went about 303 roughly. That gives us 222 left to the pin. Robert's now got a three wood in his hand to try to give us an option here. And that's okay, just a little steep with that one comes in and kind of tops it, but it's okay. So I've got a little bit of a decision of what I'm gonna do. I decide on four iron here up the hill and just trying to be, work it in from left to right to be honest with you. This one starts pretty straight on the flag. Now starts to barely peel back to the right, begging for it to stay there. Doesn't, oh, oh, now just catches in. the green side bunker. Now from the green side bunker, I will tell you this sand is extremely firm. Uh, I've got it about 22 yards to the flag. Uh, Amy's gonna give you a pan in, in a moment here. This is a sand wedge for Robert. And comes out low, not a lot of spin you can see. Couldn't, couldn't control it out of that tight lie. And I'm gonna go ahead and just play this 62 degree square, just like a tight uh, hard pan lie. And I'm just gonna pick it. And that's exactly what I do. Amy overpanned a little bit there, but it pretty much just hopped and sat there on the green. This now gives us 18 feet for birdie. And uh, I kind of surprised myself with that shot, to be honest with you, because I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. Oh, that was but a putt. that's a good really effort good there for uh, Robert, trying to give us a look at birdie. I saw that it just wiggled away at the end. I'm gonna try to do my part here, rolling it up to the cup, and oh man, just needed a little more pace on that line to catch the hole. That leaves us a tap in, good, good tap in for par. Sorry, we couldn't. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. So you're ambassador here at Glenview? Oh, yes, ma'am, been here 11 years. 11 years. 11 years. How's it going today? Fantastic, only got about four tea times. 
Yeah, it's wide it's open. Easy peasy day. Well, you know what? The course is in great condition. It is. It is. We've been we've been saying that for about four or five years that we're about the best maintained course in the village. It is beautiful. Out it here. is. It's it's true and green and not brown. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so. you guys are doing a great job. We try. Yes. Thank you so much for having Thank us out you. today. Enjoy your day. That's another great example of one of the friendly ambassadors that work here in the villages. They're also residents, so you find that in general they're all really good people. And 9 out of 10 people you, you meet here are extremely friendly. That's why we love the villages. On to the 8th hole, par 3, 168 and 165 to the pin. Robert's got a five hybrid here on the way now, going over to the green, a little bit right, and oh, oh hits oh, on there and kick. rolls out a little wow, too much, wow. a little long. Hey, I'm surprised, especially. And uh, I've got a seven iron for 165. I'm looking to start it left of the flag and bring it in with a little bit of a fade here. So we're looking left to right swing. Now this ball uh -oh. starts on the flag yeah, and starts so leaking right. It's gonna be a little bit long as well. Get down, oh, get down. Oh, 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 just missed. So my ball took a nasty hop and then just, just rolled into the penalty area. I was able to recover it, it was just sitting there. So this is Roberts yeah. Yeah, and he's yeah. got a nice little bump and run here okay. that well really done. picks exactly us up. And that's a really great shot from Robert. I'm gonna try to do my part here. This one again, I'm a little too steep and my ball, I just don't carry it far enough. And of course it checks up. So off the, off the that's floor. what's gonna happen when you don't carry it far enough. But now we've got three feet for par, and oh, Robert yeah, just, push, huh? just missed it there. I'm gonna try to do my part to pick him up, and there we go, banging it to the back of the cup for par. And now our ninth and final hole of the day is a par four, playing 392 yards. There's all kinds of trouble to carry here, uh, but Robert's got no problem here. He's got that driver out in his hand. And this is a good swing here. It's a little yeah. bit left, kind of pulled, That's but it okay. does cover all the trouble and it's safe and sound in okay. play. Yeah, it's, it's, dry. it's, <laughs> it's okay, Robert. We could find it and hit it again. That's for sure. And I'm going to go with the driver as well. Started up the right side into that trap and trying to hit a draw. Oh, no. And this It'll is out right. of the heel with an I open away, face going swing. toward that trap. Looks like Ooh, it kicked out house. of it, but it's actually in. Kind of an unlucky break getting close to the lip there, but the ball is on the upslope. It's 182 yards to the pin. This is a four hybrid again for Robert. And this is a good swing here. It's just a little right. It's gonna miss the uh, green on the right side, kind of near the cart path over there, but it is safe and sound. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a six iron and I'm a little worried about the lip. I'm gonna try to hit it high, 182. Yeah, oh, and I just it. get stuck. I, my back foot slips and I don't get really good contact. So it's a little short oh, okay. and the left the near the green. So this is a uh, bump ski run ski required here. Robert's got the chipper out uh, and shout out to Ronnie, one of our uh, longtime oh, loyal viewers here. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the eight iron in homage to him here. This is uh, for birdie. I practiced this shot a little bit, not, not quite enough. Uh, and you can see I'm just trying to run it up to the hole and this is still gonna be pretty far. Unfortunately, due to some camera issues, we missed Robert's pup. You can see his mark there is just near the hole. This is about 22 feet or so that I was trying to also make par, but now we've got bogey 
And Robert made the putt for Bogey. Good job. Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you. I hope to see you guys again real soon. Absolutely. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today. We ended up one over for the course, which wasn't too bad, all things considered. We got a bit stuck in a birdie bogey pattern that we couldn't break out of. I thought the course was in fabulous condition and the greens were in excellent shape. We ran into a very friendly ambassador and the course was really wide open. I wanted Robert to have a good first experience and I hope we delivered. I am excited that he wanted to play on camera for the vlog and I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you. Do you like this format? Do you want to come play a course in the villages with me? Do you want to see yourself golf on YouTube? Let me know what you think. I look forward to reading all the comments below. So until next time, we will see you on the course.